What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another ranking video. Today I'll be ranking, in honor of the recent release of Frozen 2, all 10 movies released under the current Disney revival. So the Disney revival was an, is the current era of Disney Animation's history since 2009 where Disney's had a resurgence in quality in their animated film. But they've had success after success in the past 10 years. So today I'm going to share my ranking of all 10 Disney revival films. Share your thoughts down in the comments below, which are your favorite, which are your least favorites. Leave your rankings in the comments below as well. I've never seen the same ranking twice. Please be civil and respectful of others. It's a fun, it's a fun thing to rank and share our thoughts on these movies that most of us love so, so well. So without further ado, here's my personal ranking of the Disney revival era. Coming in at number 10 is Frozen 2. I don't hate Frozen 2. Full disclaimer, I love all these films. The main reason I have Frozen 2 at the bottom is mainly because I found the third act pretty anticlimactic. It did feel a little rushed. I felt like if you had built and built and built the twist, I think it would have led to a more grand payoff. Still a great payoff regardless. But I think if you had just built your climax instead of just rushed it and rushed it after the reveal, I think I would have loved it a lot more. I still think Frozen 2 is great, though. Some of the best animation I've ever seen, period. Disney keeps outdoing themselves with each new CG animated film. I did love the natural character progressions from where we left off in the first. There were some very compelling moments between Elsa and Anna. And I would argue some of the musical numbers might be better than the first. I mean, I still can't get into the unknown out of my head. Into the unknown! Into the unknown! Into the unknown! Coming in at number nine is Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh feels like a dark horse in the Disney revival because this is a movie that a lot of people ignore, sadly. Which is a shame because I think Winnie the Pooh is pretty good. It is a love letter to... The original Pooh classic, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, copying the same animation style. And it does borrow a lot, especially in the the fourth wall, interacting with the narrator, uh, the book transitions, and some of the musical numbers were very Sherman Brothers inspired. And I do enjoy this movie. It is a fun little throwback to the original I did enjoy seeing all the characters on the big screen once again. I always love seeing 2D animated films, especially this day and age. My only issue with Winnie the Pooh, besides it being easily the least ambitious of the Disney revival compared to like Frozen 2, the movie I thought was a little too short. Uh, it was an hour long, and I wish we got a little more out of these characters. But still enjoy the new Winnie the Pooh, and... It's definitely the one I have probably the most soft spot for of the Disney revival. Coming in at number eight is Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6 is a, an interesting departure from Disney animation. They tackle superhero films. This was inspired by a Marvel comic. And I thought it was a solid movie. I did enjoy the animation style of this movie a lot. The superhero action was incredibly handled. And, but at the center of it all, of course, is the bond between our main character, Hero, and Baymax, which is pretty good. I did like the family bond in this. There's a little bit of emotional weight in there. Uh, they even tackle some more mature subject matter, which for a Disney superhero film, was I was pretty impressed by. What holds it back for me, some of the side characters I didn't enjoy as much. Some are just there as throwaway jokes. Some are entertaining, but others are more throwaway for me. The villain, I didn't really care for that much. I feel like the reveal was pretty predictable from a mile off. And his motivations were underwhelming at best. I still highly enjoyed Big Hero 6, especially on a visual standpoint. And it is highly entertaining and funny throughout. Coming in at number 7 is Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph was a movie that I thought would be a disaster when I saw the trailers, but coming out of seeing the film back in 2012, it was a pleasant surprise. I thought the movie did a great job of balancing 
the humor of the movie. Uh, it mixes the tone of something like Who Framed Roger Rabbit and the heart of Toy Story. And at the center of this movie, of course, is Wreck-It Ralph. A uh, pretty brilliant, subversive character, I feel like, in modern Disney, where a character programmed to be bad wants to try to do something good. And I enjoyed that character progression throughout the whole movie. This movie has great world building, a great imaginative spirit, a couple of Disney formula tropes in there I could have done without, but I still highly enjoyed Wreck-It Ralph, and it's one of the most visually pleasing films of the Disney revival. Coming in at number six is Tangled. Tangled is a Disney classic. Don't chew me out because I put Tangled so low on this list. I love Tangled. Tangled was the movie that got me back into loving modern Disney after some of the wrongs they made in the past decade. Chicken little. Tangled I thought was fantastic. It was an amazing return to form to the classic Disney Renaissance style Disney movies. I like that we got Alan Menken back as our composer and songwriter. Uh, the songs are done very well. You have a great modern classic. You have a great modern Disney princess with Rapunzel. Some new creative ways with the classic story. It's got a great villain. The animation is fantastic. I think why it's lower compared to the others on my list is of the other fairy tale Disney films. I feel like Tangled is probably the safest of the bunch. It kind of follows the conventional formula of the Disney Renaissance. Doesn't hold anything back though because I love Tangled. I love the humor, the musical side, and the weight as always. And as a hardcore Disney fan, I cannot turn Tangled down. Still a great Disney movie in its own right. And at number five is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, there's people that really hated this movie. Some people were let down by certain story elements of the movie. But I really loved Ralph Breaks the Internet. In fact, it's my favorite of the Disney Animation sequels, period. I think Ralph Breaks the Internet expanded the world that was set up in the first movie to a more creative level by diving into the internet. I enjoyed the more character side of the story between Ralph and Vanellope. The movie took some interesting directions that I felt were especially rewarding at the very end, especially the themes regarding insecurities and toxic fan culture. I feel like the movie did a great job of handling that in the modern age of the internet. The animation is fantastic as always, and there's a great meta humor throughout as well. Some of the current trends on the internet I thought were done entertainingly well. And the scene with Penelope hanging out with the Disney princesses is one of my favorite scenes in Disney history. All around, I think Ralph Breaks the Internet is very good. Some characters felt a little sidelined because they went in a different direction, but you still got the first movie, and I can watch both films back to back and enjoy them. I think I liked Ralph Breaks the Internet a little bit more. Coming in at number four is Moana. Moana is amazing. Moana is definitely a great example of how to reinvent the Disney princess tropes yet still retain what makes Disney great in the first place. What I like about Moana is she's fierce, she, she kicks a lot of butt, but yet the movie doesn't establish a romance or try to force one because the movie doesn't need one. You, got, you can tell an action-adventure story with a princess character in a Disney film and make that the main focus and it can still be as great as something like Beauty and the Beast. It's got some fantastic songs, some of the most mind-blowing animation I've ever seen. And not just the CG animation, but the 2D animation they put on Maui's tattoos is phenomenal as well. I love the action in here. The songs were, were amazing. And even somebody like Dwayne Johnson's Maui is one of the most entertaining characters I've ever seen in a Disney film. He's right up there with Robin Williams as a genie. Like neck and neck for me. All Around Moana is great. It's a movie that I highly respect from beginning to end, and it's a modern Disney masterpiece for all I care. Speaking of modern Disney masterpieces, at number three, the cultural phenomenon known as Frozen. Yep, I'm still a fan of the original Frozen. I've heard the song hundreds of times. I've heard Let It Go so many times. I've seen this movie a lot, and I still really love the film. 
I might be biased because I love Disney in general, but Frozen was definitely the movie that sealed the deal on the Disney revival. I loved the reinvention of the classic Disney tropes, especially the focus on Anna and Elsa and the sibling relationship they have is so beautiful and profound and it blows me away this very day uh, how they did a brilliant subversion like that in handling the overall nature of the story. I think the animation is still fantastic. That's now eclipsed by Frozen 2. I love all the songs. It's got iconic characters throughout. I'm even a fan of Olaf the Snowman. It did a great job of subverting everything. And it's all around one of the best modern Disney films. I love everything about the original Frozen. At number two is, I would call this the black sheep of the Disney revival. And my pick for number two is The Princess and the Frog. This is easily the most underrated film in a Disney revival. This is a movie that did well at the time, but it got lost in the shuffle compared to Tangled and Frozen and Moana. And that's a shame because Tangled did a lot of subversions to the tropes as well that Frozen did to a more wider audience. And I think you can't ignore Princess and the Frog. I love the 2D animation. I like the New Orleans setting. All the songs are fantastic and are some of the catchiest Disney songs of all time up there with the Jungle Book. I think Tiana is one of my favorite Disney princesses. Uh, she's definitely easily among the hardest working Disney princesses and that's something I highly, highly respect from this movie. Uh, I think the voodoo angle was very interesting and it definitely went in some bizarre directions but it makes it unique and stand out among the other Disney films. Uh, the movie does a great job of kind of subverting the tropes between working hard to reach your goals and not everything's all it seems on the other side and it kind of compromises and I did enjoy that message for The Princess and the Frog. I think this is a fantastic movie. This is a movie that's sadly underrated nowadays and it kickstarted the Disney revival. Definitely check it out if you hadn't seen it in a long time. But coming in at number one, my favorite movie of the Disney revival era is Zootopia. Yeah, Zootopia doesn't feel like a Disney movie, does it? There's no musical numbers in here. There's no Disney princesses. There's no uh, comical animal sidekicks, even though this is an animal-centric movie. This feels like a Pixar film. And it's cool seeing Disney animation take a more mature direction with its story. This is a buddy cop story, and it actually tackles a lot of relatable issues that it's in today's standards. It tackles racism and drugs are a focus of this movie. I think if it was just a generic buddy cop movie in animated form, I don't think it would have been as profound. But when you add the themes in there and you have something to say while having the entertaining buddy cop story, I think Zootopia left a much bigger impact. It was a movie that pleasantly surprised me. And every time I've rewatched Zootopia, I get more and more and more out of the movie. I think the messages in here cut deep to the heart, and all around, Zootopia is easily my favorite movie of the Disney revival between the animation, the entertainment factor, and what it's trying to say. So that wraps up my ranking of the Disney revival. It's one of the best eras in Disney animation we've ever had, and with Frozen 2 being a big success, who knows when the Disney revival will end. It's I'm sure it'll still continue in the rate they're going. I'm excited for their next feature, Raya and the Last Dragon, and I can't wait to see what Disney Animation has up in store next. So if you're a fan of the Disney Revival and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share your rankings down in the comments below very respectfully because I've never seen the same ranking twice. A lot of it depends on personal preferences. I'll also leave a link in the description below for all the other ranking videos I've done, and I've ranked other Disney eras as well, such as the Golden Age and the Renaissance. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides ranking videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!